Hey friends and welcome back. So guys, I wanted to share as well as invite all of you to join my family and I on a money saving challenge for 2017. So for the last six years or so at the start of each new year, we start off a new money jar. What is a money jar you ask? Well, exactly what it sounds like. It's a jar, a jug, a container, whatever we may have available that we use to contribute all of our loose coins to throughout the year. Now for us, we do this for a six months increment. So typically from January to about the middle of June or so, we will contribute all of our loose coins, all of our quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, etc., to this container. Now our kids also participate in this as they do receive a commission slash allowance for work and chores done around the house. So typically one day a week on Sundays for us, as that's our family planning days, we come together and we will empty out our wallets, purses, any coins that we may have in the vehicle and so on, we'll all go into this jar. Now towards the middle of June, once we hit that six month mark, we will then go ahead and cash out whatever we have saved at that point. We will use those funds to definitely supplement any extracurriculum activities for the summer that the kids have, or maybe any summer activities and outings that we want to do as a family, such as the amusement park, water park, museums, etc. Now, once we cash it out, we will immediately start back over with contributing for the next six months. So from July till about the middle of December or so, we will continue to contribute all of those loose coins. Now, come December, we definitely take that money, we will cash it in and use it for any extra holiday activities that we may want to do around town. Maybe we might purchase um, an item that the house needs or something that everyone can enjoy in the family around the holiday time and so on. And then, of course, we start all the way over again at the top of the new year for another six-month period. Now, guys, I tell you, this has been the most simplest and painless way to save a little extra without even knowing that you're saving. And it has definitely helped us to teach our children the value of money as well as the value of saving over a long period of time. So guys, I would be so honored if you all would join us on this money saving challenge for 2017. Now in the past guys, what we have used was just a empty juice jug to put all those coins in. But this year I actually found this little cutie at Walgreens. So we will be using this, which is a digital money county jar. Hopefully you guys can make that out, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a digital counting jar. All it is, is a plastic container as such. It comes with the top, a lid at the top where there's a slit where you will add in your coins here. There is a plus button. So every time that you add in money, you hit the plus, it adds it up and it will keep a running total for you. As well guys, it does have a minus button on there. So in the event that you need it to take out, which we are going to try and avoid at all costs, but for a true, true, true emergency, if you need it to take anything out, there's also a minus button where you can subtract how much you have taken out. And again, it will keep that running total for you. So the lid does come off, as you see, just a simple little drawer here. Now it does run on battery, so I would definitely recommend using some type of paper law to keep um, account of how much you're actually putting in. And again, if you had to touch it for a true, true, true emergency, being able to um, keep a track of how much you have taken out and so on. Me personally, I will not be using a log with it as whatever goes into this container will stay in this container. We're, we have been very diligent over the years, or should I say, I have been very diligent over the years as to not touch this out of sight, out of mind, until we go to contribute to it again once a week. But I do have other savings in place for other areas um, of life and the things that we're saving up for financially and so on. So I won't be needing a log for that for that reason. However, I do recommend if you do start this up and this is your first time and you do want to keep a track of this, do keep a paper log. That way you can kind of see your progress as you go. And if you did have to take out for whatever reason, definitely write in why you're taking out and then you could go back and revisit that to see you had an unexpected expense, an unexpected emergency, um, or something that maybe you didn't quite plan for, whatever it might be, you'll be have, you're able to have a record to see where those fluctuations are in your savings, so on and so forth, but more on that later. 
Um, and actually, I am planning to share just how I go about budgeting and handling our finances as a family of seven, um, living off of two self-employment incomes. I do plan to share that with you guys in the upcoming days. And actually, this weekend, the hubby and I will be finalizing our budget for 2017. So once I got all of that done and finalized, I will be sharing that information with you. And I'm actually working on how to um, share all of that with you in real time, real, somewhat real numbers, let's say that, um, without giving out too much personal information, of course. But just again, sharing how I do handle our family of seven finances on two step employment income. But story topic for another day back to the money jar. I would love it for you guys to join us and I would love to bless two of you with one of these money counting jars if you decide that you want to take this challenge with us. Now this will be a giveaway. Rules to this giveaway will be linked down below in the description box as well as on the screen somewhere. But in order for me to know that you are entering the giveaway, please be sure to leave at least one fun fact if you will, about whatever your savings goals is for 2017 for yourself and or for your household. But basically for the giveaway, you need to be at least 18 years or older, have a U.S. mailing address, of course be subscribed to this channel, be an active member in this community, that means commenting on videos prior to this video. Of course, give me a big thumbs up letting me know that you do enjoy this type of content. That way I know to continue to share this here in this community. As well, guys, don't forget to leave a comment down below just sharing what your savings goals is for yourself and or your family for 2017. Now, the announcement for the winners will be done on this coming Wednesday, which is January the 11th. It will be in its own separate video, so be sure that you're looking out for that as well. Also, guys, I'll update you as to our progress with this challenge throughout the year, probably in the CVS couponing haul videos that typically go up on Sunday on the channel, if not Monday by the latest. But at least that way you guys can kind of see how far we have come in this challenge as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting. Be sure to leave me a comment below if you will be participating in this giveaway. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.